Take a step outside and seize the day now Hey, we're heading to Nashville today to celebrate a friend's birthday. But first, we had to get there, so we headed to Myrtle Beach Airport. As usual, we arrived early before the crowds. Now, since it was a packed flight, we decided to wear our masks. And after the Spirit flight landed, we were on our way. Flight time from Myrtle Beach to Nashville was an hour and 10 minutes. With flaps extended, we made our landing. We made it to Hotel Indigo in Nashville. Great location, right at the head of um, Printer's Alley. So now we're going to go in and check out the room. Let's see. Whoa, nice room. Wow. Great view, look at this. Good view of uh, looking to the uptown area. Big wardrobe closet right there. King size bed. TV. Refrigerator and safe. Oh, good. That's good. I'm glad they have a safe. Extra drawers. Take your stuff out. Coffee whenever you want it. And. Look at this bathroom. Whoa. You can fit a family of four in here. Wow. Bigger, than, bigger than our bathroom at home. Nice. There's a light in the shower. Plenty of room. We can have a party in here. Looks very comfortable so far. Now, apparently if you want daily maid service, you have to request it before 1 p.m. at the front desk, or you can request towels at any time. Or you can request it the night before. Or the night before, that's right. So we're gonna get settled in and uh, then we'll walk down and show you the lobby. Uh, and then we're gonna walk uh, down and to Prince's and pick up a, my favorite, a Nashville hot chicken sandwich at Prince's uh, down at that food court. What was the name of that food court area? Um, assembly Food. Oh yeah, Assembly Hall, Assembly Hall. So it's right in the center of uh, the uh, downtown here. So we're gonna do that uh, after we get settled in. Ready to go. All right, let's check this place out and then we'll head downtown. So apparently this hotel has a couple towers and the nice thing is to get into the elevator to go up these floors, you need to have a car, you need to have a key uh, for your room to activate, yeah, key card to activate the uh, elevator. Okay, going down. And this is where you put your uh, room key in order to activate the elevator when you come back up. And from what I understand, this lobby was recently redone. And there's a little cafeteria right here where you get coffee, a little restaurant. But you can see all the classic details. And here's the bar. And they have live music every evening.
Now let's step outside. As you can see, the Hotel Indigo is located right at the north end of Printer's Alley. So uh, check out our other videos on Nashville we did a couple months ago. We did a complete review of what to see in Nashville and also the uh, famous uh, Printer's Alley that we're walking down right now. Um, the hotel that we're staying at, the Hotel Indigo, is very close to the Noel where we stayed last time, but it was a little less expensive. Noel seems to have gone up in price. But as you can see, uh, Printer's Alley is right here. And it's a great place to come for uh, some music, especially in the evening. What's more, Hotel Indigo is a few blocks away from Broadway, but far enough away where you don't hear all the noise. And Hotel Indigo is a short walk to Assembly Hall, and that's where you'll find my favorite, Prince's Hot Chicken. All right, so we've been at the Hotel Indigo here in Nashville on Union Street for a couple days. Uh, what do you think so far? Well, I like that the room is really large, but I don't like that you have to call every day for towel, shampoo, and things like that because there's no daily maid service. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of a pain. Over at the Hotel Noel where we stayed last time, they did have daily maid service. But this is still a great hotel. The room is big, as Sue said. Very comfortable, very quiet, very clean. Nice lobby with a restaurant downstairs. <clears throat> and the location is great. We're right at the north end of uh, Printer's Alley, and we're only two or three blocks away from Broadway. And the best part is that it's nice and quiet. We're kind of facing north, uh, so we don't hear any of the noise that, you're he that you can hear from the Broadway area. It's very, very quiet here at night. So I'd definitely stay here again, wouldn't you? Yeah, I would, definitely. Yeah, I'd give it uh, two thumbs up, and we know who does two thumbs. Two thumbs up. Tell me thumbs up. Two. Now, as we mentioned, we're here to celebrate a friend's birthday. So next week's video, we're going to show you how to party in Nashville. That should be a lot of fun. Don't miss it. Until next time, safe travels.